I found that the technical resources were well organised by our team. We always had a range of materials and tools to choose from and our parachute materials and sensors always arrived on time. As well as that, we had an identical second can as a backup that we brought to every competition and test drop, just in case. Landing the can proved to be quite a challenge for our team. Even though the map behind our parachute was correct, we still faced difficulties due to unpredictable constants such as air pressure and the weather conditions. Some of the materials that we used to craft the parachute also proved to be rather unreliable and we had to resort to the trial and error method in order to adjust it. This proved to be rather time inefficient and a massive disadvantage to our team. Before the CANSAT project, we didn't really know each other very well and things were a little bit awkward. But that changed very quickly. We got to know each other very well and we all became great friends. And that made doing the project a lot more fun and very efficient. I feel that public speaking was a positive aspect to our project. It allowed us to convey what the pro project was about and our progress to the public domain. In addition to this, we also presented to many companies, which kindly agreed to donate money towards our cause. As well as this, we presented to the KWETB, which is the Kildare Wicklow Education Training Board. They run our school and they also kindly donated money towards our cause. Our team may not have been the best organised in terms of meetings and deadlines to be met, but with any event that we attended with the CANSA, we were well prepared for any eventuality. For example, on the day of our first test drop, we had essential tools with us to adjust the bracket on our drone to launch the CANSAT successfully. In addition to this, on the day of the national final, we had soldering irons and various tools with us to repair any technical, technical issues that came up and also a spare parachute for the eventuality that our parachute would be severed, which actually happened on the day. One of the biggest things we struggled in this project was time management. Due to our lack of communications, we had, nobody had any idea what to do and when to do it for. So we ended up having to solve everything like in the last two or three weeks. The way we resolved this issue was that we, had, we held meetings once a week and we had everybody's emails to email around what we had to do and when it had to be in. And, then, and because of this, we managed to successfully complete the project. Smiled and his beam I used to find.